Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. Libra Sun Moon Rising in Venus for the week of November 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. What do we got for Libra Sun Moon Rising in Venus? This card is going to be delivered in the upright position. What do we got for Libra, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? One card for Libra, please. Rest in rejuvenation. So either way, upright or reverse, this is extreme need to rest uh, to, for healing. Okay, you're going to need healing. It's a time to rejuvenate your soul, do some inner work, do some healing. So it's going to be a week of healing, taking a break, going within. Definitely needing to. You need to rejuvenate your soul this week. Okay? Something could be completing in your life. This equals a 10 which is a completion. There could be a cycle that is completing in your life and now it's just time to breathe. It's time to relax. It's time to heal. Okay, so there's a healing. It's a time of healing. Libra. A couple of cards for Libra, please. These are hard to shuffle. A couple of cards for Libra. Let's see, what else? Oh, I'll get another one. There we go. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. So you may be feeling tied down or frustrated this week. Casket. Something going out of your life or the end of a situation. So you're, something is changing significantly. And remember, I said I, has, I saw a completion. So something is ending, and, it's, and you're going to need time to rest, okay? Do some inner work, okay? Because something significant is ending. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. So Libra. Looks as though there's you may feeling some frustrations. You may be feeling some frustrations because of some disappointing situation that is being cut out of your life. Okay? Something is ending and it may make you feel uncomfortable, frustrated, whatever. Okay? Um, it's definitely not going to be easy by the looks of things. Okay? Um... <clears throat> Frustration, okay, this is frustration, disappointment, and something going out of your life. So, you will need to go within, okay? So, what do we got, Libra? What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Ooh, looks like the power is in your hands. You may have manifested something. You may have asked for something. Okay? This is a card of, of manifestation and taking action to bring success. This is also a divine connection. As above, so below. It's like heaven gives you what you asked for. But they may, it, what you asked for may be coming in a different manner. Okay? You may, you may be getting something, but it may not be exactly what you asked for. But it is. You know what I'm saying? So this is what God or the universe had in store that was going to fulfill your wish or whatever you asked for. You've manifested something, okay? But the magician takes action to bring success. But the magician is also willing to shed the old to bring in the success. So, ooh, the Eight of Wands reversed. Now this is... A blockage of some sort, a blockage of success, perhaps something is being blocked. Their communication could be stopping, or somebody could be stopped in their tracks. With the Eight of Wands reversed, there's also uh, somebody could be feeling guilty, 
or there could be some jealousy issues surrounding whatever is going on. <clears throat> now this is reluctant to move on, reluctant to take a new approach. Somebody has been in a troubled situation and they've been staying there. But I feel as though there is some sort of message that is going to be delivered that gives somebody some sort of clarity. This is a messenger of truth. <clears throat> this is delayed, delayed message. S somebody's voice may have been blocked. Dead end. It's the end. It's the end of a situation. It's been, it, somebody has been in an exhausting situation where it was very turbulent. It was very troublesome, but I feel as though somebody's, a, and they haven't been communicating. They haven't been speaking up. They've been staying in this troubled situation, but this is speaking up. And coming out of this dead end situation, this is this is extremely isolated, extremely exhausted. The Four of Swords reversed, very very frustrated. Somebody's probably going to be. This is going to be a frustrating week. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a messenger here. There's a messenger here that delivers a message that probably makes you feel uneasy. Okay? It makes you feel very uneasy. Um, could have something to do with a father. Could have something to do with a father. This is a father figure. Now this is this is uh this person has a plan and makes a decision some or this could be somebody in authority whether it's a father or us or a husband or this is somebody in a high authority is making a decision somebody is making a decision here and it's good whatever this decision is this is a very wise decision this is a very wise individual who has a lot of experience whatever decision they're making it's something that is going to bring you stability and success and it's something that you can have for a really long time that you this is long term it's going to give you long term stability so you're going to be headed towards long term stability but there's been a delay in getting this but you're going to get something because you've manifested something. And this is, this is prosperity. This is stability. This is security. It's like you're getting some sort of security. As if by magic. It's like it just appears. You know, this decision is made. This is, you could be getting some sort of even money. You could be getting money or whatever this is. This is something that you can really hold on to. It's gonna. It's something that is gonna that you can save, that you can last, that will last. It's the end of some sort of struggle by the looks of things. This is gonna make you feel really good, and it's something you may have subconsciously asked for. This. It's like you asked for it, and here it is. Ooh, the world card. There could be uh, no closure, okay, and there or there could be some unfinished business. It's like somebody could be saying goodbye without saying goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate to say that, but there's no closure here. It's like things things end without proper closure. Perhaps I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um, there could be some unfinished business with another family member because the Ten of Coins signifies family. This could have to do with family. 
now I, I don't know if I mean I don't know what's what is happening but there this is the the death of an idea or a person okay so just keep that in mind um, somebody could be getting ill they could be getting sick it could be some sort of sickness that is happening with this four of swords you know getting weaker because it's, it seems like that could be the case this is a messenger somebody is going to be delivering a message that you do not want to hear but you're you're headed towards happiness believe it or not this is happiness this is healing this is rebirth this is a really 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 happy place this is renewal this is this is getting ga gaining health getting healthy again regaining health remember rest and rejuvenation I feel like this is a week where you start to regain health after being in a very troublesome situation that may have made you feel empty and dead inside love this could be self-love this could be love from another person this is this is this is an an opportunity for love big love and happiness it's, not, it's like this is love this is the love you have been waiting for this could be self-love or it could be love from another person this is big love the ace of cups new love happiness affection things are gonna start to get better things are gonna start to get better really fast they are this dead end situation that has been making you feel dead inside and empty this is emptiness and this is emptiness made you feel empty inside it's it's just about over I feel like it's just about over because it feels to me like it feels to me like you're headed towards a lot of happiness good health prosperity and love this is love it's like somebody loves you. It's like they're going to shower you. It's like you, they're, you're, you're their sunshine. You're my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. So it feels to me as though you are somebody's sunshine. Something is ending. But this ending is going to bring you a lot of happiness and love. Good luck. I mean, it really can't get much better than that. That's happiness and love. Extreme happiness. An abundance of love. Good luck.